Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. I thought today we would do something a little different with art. Instead of just making art with what we have, I thought we could make the materials that we'll use. So today I'm going to be making paint. Um, this is a taste safe paint, which means um, it's non-toxic. And we're going to be using flour, salt, I have a cup of water, and some food coloring. Now, um, I only have purple, green, pink, and blue, so I'm limited to what colors I'll have, um, but that'll be okay. Um, if you have other colors, you could always make those. If you had the primary colors, yellow, red, and blue, you could always just make three colors and then mix to make your colors. But I'm going to make what I have, and I can't wait to do this with you. Um, if you are making this at home, it's important that you ask your parents to help you with it um, and to make sure it's okay that you're using um, different kitchen tools because um, we don't want to waste our flour. <laughs> but... Um, I'm excited. So I've gone ahead and I've put flour into these smaller cups to hold what um, colors I'll be making. And since I have four colors of these um, food colors, I'm going to have four different paints. Now, this is a lot of flour, in my opinion. This is a fourth of cup. Um, the recipe I found actually called for a half a cup, which would be more than that. Um, so I've been making the, I'm going to be making mine with half of each measurement because I did not want to make as much paint. And you can see it's going to be plenty of paint. But um, you can make it even smaller if you want to. What you want to think about when you do this, boys and girls, is that we're going to be using fractions. So it's going to be two parts flour, one part salt, and I think it's also one part, yeah, um, so two, two parts flour, one part salt, two parts water with the little bit of food coloring put into the water. So if I tried to make that into simple terms, if I had a cup of flour, I'd put half a cup of salt and a cup of water. I'm doing a fourth cup of flour. So I'm going to use a half of that for my salt. I'm going to use an eighth a cup. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. I'm going to be very careful pouring this because it scares me a little bit. But I'm going to add salt, an eighth a cup to each one of my cups. And I have a feeling that the measurement, while we want to be pretty exact, is not going to be ruined if I get a little bit off. I'm going to try to be as precise as I can be, but I think it'll be okay. And that had a little bit of salt just stuck, so I'm going to spread that out evenly. So, I have my salt done, and now I'm going to do the water, and I have a fork here. It's going to ask me to whisk the water in with the salt and the flour, and since this is a smaller cup and I don't want to use a big whisk, I'm going to use a fork, and that will use the same effect. That just means I'm going to stir it up really good until all the clumps are gone. So. I need a fourth cup of water. This is my cup. I'm just going to dip it. That's probably not the best idea in the whole wide world, but you know what? It'll be okay. So once I have my cup, I'm going to pick a color. This first one's going to be green, and all these colors are neon, so it might be super bright green, but it'll be really cool. I'm going to put a few drops of green. One, two, let's do three. I like three. I'm going to do three. And then I'm going to pour it into my first cup. 
and already I am very excited about this. So I'm going to rest that to the side. I have a couple paper towels off the screen. And I'm going to use my fork and I'm going to whisk this and it turned more yellow with the flower. I was really hoping it'd be more green. I bet I can add more food coloring to this. But right now I'm going to worry about let's get this mixed up. And it smells like flour, for those of you who are curious. Yeah, so I'm just mixing it until it kind of just dissolves those different clumps of flour. And I am going to put a little bit more grain in it. So maybe five drops. So I did three. Let's do two more. One. Okay, already better. And it doesn't show up quite on the cup because you're seeing the outside of the cup. The inside of the cup is much prettier green, but it's still pretty. This one's a little pea soup. I'm not very tickled about it. But there's my green. And I'm gonna wipe off my fork so that I can use the next one. So that was the green. And it matches the lid, so I guess that's fair. We're gonna go ahead and do blue next. I'm gonna get it ready. I'm gonna uncap the blue. I'm gonna grab some water. Remember I'm using a, I'm, I did, uh, I'm doing a fourth a cup of water. And let's do five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. I'm gonna cap that because it would be very bad if that spilled. Go ahead and pour. And that looks fun. It's gonna get a little bit less blue as I stir things in. That's already fun. I would be doing this with a parent if I were used to it. This is a little messy, but it is fun to think that we can do some science and some math while we're making art. Oh, and also parents, so you know, um, you can store this in the fridge for, I think it was up to six months. I'm going to check that before I paint with these, but you can just put a little cap on these. Or if you're like me and don't have caps for these cups, you can use a little bit of plastic wrap. And you can store this paint and use it again later, as long as it's in within six months, which I think is kind of cool. So that blue is really pretty. I'm happy with the blue. Blue was a good color. All right, let's try to do this pink. Just kind of wiping out the blue out of that cup for a second because I'm afraid this pink will end up being overpowered by the blue. So let's go ahead and do pink. Oh wait, before I get that started, let's open it. Alright, so fourth cup, five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Let's cap it. Let's see what this one looks like. It looks like strawberry right now. But I think it's gonna end up looking more like the cup. We'll see. Yeah. And if you're making yours and you're like, ooh, that one's goopy. Like this one is a little goopy. I'm gonna show you that. This one's a little goopier than the other ones. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. The recipe said you can add water until you're happy with the consistency. That means if you want it a little runnier, you can add a little more water. If you want it a little bit goopier, then you can add a little less water. But I won't mind to be a little bit runnier. 
So I'm adding water to mine. And I'm just stirring, stirring, stirring until those clumps are gone. And that's a really pretty color. I'm happy with that. Cool. So let's do our last color with purple. Ooh. Gonna have to get more napkins. Let's go ahead and open the purple. I'm gonna go ahead and get the water. Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the purple. have primary colors so I couldn't necessarily mix to get I couldn't get red anyway because of primary color you can't mix but I don't have the ability to make orange which makes me sad but it'll be okay and this purple is ended up really nice and kind of pretty purple and it has a little bit more water than I want so I could go back and add more flour if I wanted but I think I'm just going to run with it. And there's my paint. So I should be able, I'm going to put that fork in the water since I'm done with the water. I should be able to paint with these now. Um, I am going to go grab my easel and my uh, paper pad and I'll be right back. So I went and got fresh water and my paint brushes. I got a couple big paint brushes. Oh, a big brush, a medium brush, and a small brush. And then I got new paper towels and we're gonna go ahead and paint now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do a butterfly. I've been getting into butterflies recently, so let's try this out. I hope it works. So I have the green. And then and it's pretty light, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe if I get a little lower into that flower, it'll show up a little better. It could also be because this is a neon pink. Ah, you can see it a little bit. It's showing up just a little bit. It's not my favorite because it's so light, but maybe my other colors will show up better. This is all about experimenting. I didn't know if I could paint my own paint. I think if I put more paint on top of it, it's definitely making a difference. So it might be one of those things where you just have to keep adding layers. Um, let's try a different color just to see what we got. Uh, let's do purple wings. This is my darkest color, so I have a feeling this will show up. It's kind of an odd color. It's like not too much purple. I mean, it's definitely working. I wonder if I put more drops of color in colors it would have more, but I wouldn't want to use all of my color. I have to have something. But I'm just making a butterfly. I did two wings on the side. Oh, all right. Do top wing on this side. I guess that's what happens if I put more water in it, huh guys? It gets a little runny.
maybe a little bit more paint there. And as it dries, I'm kind of liking it. It's not my favorite paint. I don't think I'm going to make my paint all the time. But it was kind of fun on this rainy day to try something a little different and see what I can make. This would also be really good if you want to just play. You want to mix colors. You want to do something abstract. This would be a great day for that. And if you forgot what abstract means, it means you don't actually have to make it look like a picture. I might use this paint on the mom this week. And see what happens. Uh, let's use a little bit of pink and blue to while I'm at it. Well, while I'm up here. Why well, might as well? The blue is pretty. Now this is a cool chunk here. I can tell I didn't quite mix it up as well as the other colors and maybe it has less water in it. But it's showing up pretty good on my screen, so maybe that's what I needed. Maybe I needed that color. Oops. Dripping my paint, guys. That's what I get for having too much paint on my brush. I suppose. symmetrical butterflies, which means it matches on this side and on this side. If I folded this butterfly down the middle, it would match up. That's what symmetrical means. Yeah, let's do a little bit of pink. I don't know what I'm going to do for pink yet. Maybe I can add some book out. It shows up a little bit. But yeah, so not quite as successful as I wanted it to be, but if I was in a pinch, needed something to do on a rainy day, I could see myself making cool paint project. Um, you'll have to tell me if you're more successful than me because I would love to see who does this. But I hope, if nothing else, that you have enjoyed making some paint with me or at least have enjoyed watching Miss Allen try and make paint. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I miss you so much, but thank you for watching. I'll see y'all later.